What's up guys, today in this video we are going to be teaching you how to create better GoPro photos. Now I've made a couple of these videos before on the channel and you guys have absolutely loved them but today's video is super special because we also have a giveaway. We are giving away a brand new GoPro Hero Note. That's right. And today we are in Santorini, beautiful Cycladic island in Greece. And so we'll take you guys around and show you how to take some freaking bangers on the GoPro Hero 9. So we're super excited because this is a not just color community video as well. Ooh, and so what we're going to be using is primarily burst, but we're going to film the whole video today on a GoPro. So just to prove that you guys can create epic travel videos and take epic travel photos just on your GoPro. First photo, we have this absolutely epic background. And so I think we're gonna try out a little jump. Uh, so burst is great to capture motion. So if you don't have any motion, it doesn't really make sense to use burst. So since we don't have motion in the shot, well, adding it um, and Jake is gonna be jumping. So right now we're shooting raw. So with raw, the maximum we can shoot is only 10 photos over three seconds, which should be plenty for a jump. So we'll show you guys how to use burst in other modes, maybe using JPEG and whatnot later on today. So yeah, the whole trick is sort of pressing the button before it actually begins. Cause it takes this, the camera a second to figure out that you're wanting to shoot so definitely try to press it before the action starts if you don't want to miss the the core of the action so i am shooting um in portrait mode means, meaning i'm holding the camera this way and that's because we're mostly posting to social so it makes more sense for us but you could totally shoot that way which is uh landscape as well if you wanted so. I think we got it. I think some people might want to snag our spot for a photo. So let's see what we've got. Hope you enjoyed that little snippet and let's get to that next location. Let's do it. Okay, well, we hope you enjoyed the first image which we captured all the way at the top there. We've come down to the water now and we're going to take a couple more burst images in the ocean but before we get into that we should probably tell you how you can be part of this giveaway and win a brand new gopro hero 9. so the first way is you have our not just color presets yes this is a not just color community challenge we did mention that before so you have the presets and all you have to do is upload an image to social media i should say a gopro image to social media and use the hashtag not just color preset that will get you into the giveaway draw so publish an image over the next two weeks and voila you'll go in Number two, second away, is simple enough. You just have to purchase one of our Not Just Color Pack this week or over the next two weeks, sorry. And so automatically by just purchasing one, you'll get into the draw. We'll use your email. You don't have to publish anything to social. Just buy a pack and you're automatically in the draw. And the third option is we're giving away three presets down below. You can use any of those free presets, free Not Just Color presets, and upload your GoPro image with our Not Just Color preset using the hashtag Not Just Color preset and that will also get you into the draw. Also for the next two weeks, our Not Just Color presets have 25% off, so it's the perfect time to grab yourself a bundle or an individual pack for desktop or mobile. Check the description below for the unique discount code. Let's get in. So for the next couple of photos, I'm going to be shooting Burst on the GoPro Hero 8 with the G-Dome. Anna has the uh, Teleson G-Dome over there. If you want to grab one of the domes, um, this one doesn't actually fit the brand new GoPro Hero 9, which is why we're shooting on the GoPro Hero 8. But I'll put the link to the new G-Dome um, by Chris Rogers or the Teleson G-Dome um, for Hero 9 and for Hero 8 in the description below. So you can grab one of them if you want to try and capture these kind of above over underwater images. So what we're doing is we're just sort of framing up the shot the sun is over here. Now with the G-Dome, you don't want to be shooting directly into the sun, like, because it's going to create weird reflections in the image. So the sun needs to be behind you and our subject needs to be somewhere here in the water. So Anna's going to be the beautiful model for this shot. Um, in terms of the burst, I'm going to shoot uh, 10 images over three, or I'll change it and I'll shoot um, 30 images over six. They're my kind of presets for shooting bursts. 
get in. In Raw on GoPro Hero 9, you can only get a maximum of 10 frames over three. So if you want a, a longer burst, like 30 frames over six, you have to shoot JPEG. this final shot, what we're gonna do is try a POV burst where we use a higher frame rate. So 30 frames over six seconds. The reason why we're using more frames is because we wanna fine tune and fine, fine pick the exact frame where I'm falling and splashing the water. Up until now, yeah, we've just been shooting 10 over three. So let's try a longer burst. about when you're shooting is where your shadow falls. I find that in so many shots the shadow is here and that's just because I didn't take a minute to pay attention to it. So just look at it and try to orient yourself so your own shadow is in that shot. That's all I have to say. <laughs> what else are you saying? Okay, so wrapping up the key take-homes from today's GoPro burst photography video. Point number one is to choose whether you want to capture 30 frames or 10 frames. Now the reason why we would choose to capture more frames is if we're doing some epic action like a flip or something super quick where you really need to capture more frames. Now the second point is deciding whether you need to use RAW. So choosing the RAW element over just capturing JPEG. Now the biggest take home with this is that if you're doing something out in the water like you're capturing wildlife, a turtle, a chance encounter, it's not such a good idea to choose the higher amount of frames like 30 frames over 10 or 3 seconds because the camera takes longer to process those images. So if you choose 30 frames raw whilst you're trying to capture a turtle, you get one shot and then the turtle goes. So we would, we would highly recommend just using 10 frames so the camera can process and you can keep shooting. And the final tip and the final take home is to make sure that you try and capture action, some kind of motion. That's what's so fun and cool about GoPro photography and, and this challenge is that we wanna see your action. Thank you so much for checking out today's video. We hope that you learned something in regards to shooting better GoPro photos, especially using the burst feature. Yeah, and so obviously with this challenge, we'd love for you to also use burst and share with us your favorite images. Uh, be sure to check out the presets below and there's some videos linked up here in the cards which will hopefully give you some more insight into what those presets are like or if you are interested in purchasing not just color presets. Anyway, hope you've enjoyed the video, hope you've learned something and we'll see you in the next upload. Don't forget to use the hashtags, not just color, not just color presets. Oh yeah, on Instagram and we'll stalk your Instagrams. <laughs> see you in the next upload. Peace. Thank you.